Hello. Let's see how to create vectors using the SEQ function. The SEQ function creates sequences of real numbers. And for this function, we have to specify the following arguments. The start value of the sequence, the end value, and the step. That is, the distance between components. The default step value is 1. Let's create a sequence of numbers from 1 to 10 with a step of 0.5, so the distance between components must be 0.5. As you can notice here in this line, the start value is defined using the argument from, the end value is defined, it is 1, okay, the end value is defined using the argument 2, it is 10, and the step is indicated, is defined by the argument by, it is 0 0.5. So this line will create, will create again a sequence from 1 to 10 using the step of 0 0.5. And everything will be stored in a vector x. Let's create the vector x and let's print it to the console. So its values are 1, 1 1.5, 2, 2.5. You can notice that the distance between elements is 0 0.5. And finally 9, 9.5 up to 10, the end value. Now very important. If we enter the arguments in this exit order, start, stop, and step, we don't have to write their names. So we don't have to write from, to, and by. So, we can write this line much simpler, like this. So, the program knows here that the first value is the start value, 1, the second value is the end value, 10, and the last value is the step, 0 0.5. So, if I create the vector y with the seq function, this vector will have, of course, the same components as the vector x, 1, 1 1.5, 2, 2.5, up to 10. Let's take other example to understand better. Let's create a vector with a sequence of numbers from 0 to 20, the step being 2, a vector z. So the vector z contains all the even numbers from 0 to 20, right? 0, 2, 4, 6, 18, 20. We can also create sequences in reverse order using a negative step. So here we create a vector t with a sequence from 11 to 1, so in reverse order, decreasing, using the step of minus 2. Let's see the vector t. Its components are 11, 9, 7, 5, 3, 1. The distance between components is, of course, minus 2, or 2 in absolute value. Now for a very powerful capability of the seq command or function. Instead of specifying the step, we can specify the number of components in the sequence and the program will automatically compute the step for us. So, we can indicate the start value, the end value, and the number of components using the length argument, and the program will compute the step based on these numbers. For example, let's create a sequence of 10 numbers between 1 and 5. So, the first value, the start value is 1, the end value is 5, the length is 10, so I need 10 numbers. Our vector will be called q. Let's see it. So the values in the vector q are these ones, 1, 1 1.44, 1.88, 4.11, 4 4.55, and finally 5. And of course we have 10 value in the sequence. And the step is computed using the following formula. 
It is computed by dividing the difference between the stop and start values, so stop minus start, divided to the number of components minus 1. So in this case, the step is 5 minus 1 divided to 9, 10 minus 1, and it is 0 0.44. Another example, let's create a sequence of 100 numbers, this time, from minus 3 to 25. So, the start value, minus 3, the end value, 25, and the length is 100. The vector will be called x, for example. Oh, it has a lot of components, 100. Minus 3, minus 2.71, minus 2.43, and so on and so on. 24.71, 25. 100 elements. And in this case, the step is 25 plus 3, so 25 minus minus 3, right? 28 divided to 99, 100 minus 1. Namely, 0 0.28. That's all about the SEQ function. Thank you.